because the our goals should come come from our our vision the lord the lord okay the lord vision should really come from the lord the lord has placed in our heart mm. probably the heart of pastor june so it's something like that i mean where do we see and how do we see eastgate loh you know in that particular community more than i'm i'm, I'm not saying that uh, what we are doing in the, the spiritual and the, the spiritual feeding and the physical feeding are two important ministries yes. okay in fact if Jesus i would say Christ. i don't want to dichotomize you know because when you do when when you do ministry it's spiritual when you feed them it's a spiritual ministry it's a spiritual ministry because it is in you know in, in the book of matthew 25 you know matthew 25 uh in fact i was i was like i mean in one of my posts not not one of the posts some the dean of academic affairs or the, of asian theological seminary or posted something like uh something ministry to the poor and i was and i i responded or i, I made a comment like ministry to the poor is not i mean i i and, and later on i explained myself is not a it's not a calling but it is a choice because it looks like even in the mega churches in the philippines <laughs> nobody really have done or seriously targeted or mm -hmm. have placed on their on the table ministry program ministry intentionally for the poor or to the poor mm -hmm. and they and they, you won't see any poor people going coming into or going or entering let's say green hills christian fellowship which is the, yeah. a huge air condition yeah. you know which is uh, middle class upper class uh, and all this mm -hmm. most of these uh, fast growing <clears throat> churches in the philippines you won't see poor yeah. but there's there's i have a pastor i have a pastor friend who is a graduate also of uh, asian theological Semin seminary and and uh, both of them you know, both of them decided and choose to minister to what's that place, Pastor? In Smoking? The, the one in uh, Quezon City. Pasa. Uh, uh, I would like to. Payatas. 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 I, I'm saying this in case you will go to the Philippines or have a vacation. Ask me, Pastor Henry, can you give me the name of that pastor? And I will give it to you if you want a mission exposure with with and through and in the church or pastor okay so anyway so it was a choice but most uh, pastor 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 june knows about this most graduates of this seminary are working you know in the urban and of course when they talk about church planting strategy they talk about uh, you know uh, uh, targeting a, a subdivision middle class mm -hmm. those who can afford to buy so not really yeah. you know poor people uh they are not able to and they don't yeah, have the capacity right. to <laughs> give tithes and offering yeah. you know, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, ka pa, something like that you, yeah. know? you know it's like a, you, you have nothing in, i mean how can Go. me as a married pastor with four or three kids or six kids can be supported by you know, a ministry to the poor, mm -hmm. something like that. So practically, these graduates or these pastors would pastor, you know, highly urbanized cities or middle class, upper class uh, places or cities in the Philippines. So what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, um, <clears throat> yes, what we are doing right now in in, uh, in Eastgate is very biblical, it's spiritual, you know, feeding knowing uh giving a, a, a temporary relief yes. you know or i know from from their hunger from their whatever but more than that how do we see us i mean i'm including myself how do we see us as loh i mean is it loh in that community more than more than the feeding mm -hmm. more than attending to the physical uh, so I, I think it was Pastor John. We were we were conversing that I mean uh, this 
talking about somebody who came to know Christ and this person went to went back to his place so that's one strategy in in doing missions because cross-cultural ministry when you talk about cross-cultural ministry it's very difficult you have to learn the language mm -hmm. you have to eat and swallow their food <laughs> mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying like just like what Hudson Taylor said if you want to win the Chinese you know Speak dress like them eat like and they eat yes something like during the he is one of the pioneers of missions in China so uh, how do we how do we see uh, Eastgate LOH in, in terms of the Great Commission yeah. Yeah. Hey, the Great Commission because uh, if Pastora, uh, Pastora Susie sent you the uh, what do you call this our theme what's our theme oh. the mission of the church <laughs> the is mission. missions yeah. mm -hmm. are we playing <laughs> words here Pastor Ernie? no in the strict mission parlance mission is the plan of God mm -hmm. take note the one without S missions is not the plural I mean the plural uh, word for mission the missions is the actual so there are churches that have mission but no missions <laughs> you mean they can't have just they can't have more than one mission in that church no what I'm saying is you can have a mission you're praying for mission you can you can mission by its term terminology it is the plan of God let's say the Great Commission but if you do you don't actualize okay going missions yeah, which action. actually let's say no uh, uh, spring mountain mm -hmm. and then let's say Rain. went to his day uh -huh. that's missions but prior to that is day i mean uh spring mountain loh catch the vision get the vision from the lord and they sat down prayed and visualize or actualize that hey why don't we go to transmissions <coughs> with us that's what i'm saying that's what i'm trying to say so uh, the great commission if we look at the great commission it's not its emphasis is not in the go go and make preach. yeah it make is, it, the, the core is make disciples mm -hmm. But you cannot make disciples unless you do the first step, and which is, which is, Please. go. 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 It's exactly what LOH Spring Mountain did. did. Yeah, we went. They go. We, we, we go. We went there. That's mm -hmm. the going. But preach. we don't stop there. We preach. Because the commandment is not just to go, okay, but make disciples. No. Okay, not go and make decisions. Go and make disciples. So that's the fastest. I mean, this is not this is not only me talking. This is, this is the scripture. This is God. This is Jesus talking to us. Hey, this is the way He will reach the world yeah. by making disciples. So disciples are not disciples are not made. Oh no no no! Disciples are were are, were not born. You produce them. So once we once Eastgate LOH produce disciples, we know that there will be people who will continue. You know, and and the three S in missions or church. What is the three S? You know, three S. How you become an indigenous indigenous church? Service. Self governing, self supporting, and self propagating. Some uh, some uh, some day none of us will not be needed in East yes. Bay mm -hmm. because we will be going to North, South, East, West, different because there are people who were who have been dis or been disi disciples. I I I'm, I I I'm almost tempted to say discipled because there is no such thing that is that I mean, there is no such person that is discipled because. Nobody it's always, no, nobody it's always a process. You're always learning. So exactly. you can't be you nobody, can't past tense until yeah. you're dead. So anyway, yeah. So no no uh, you can say, Oh, oh hey, I am I'm, I'm already he, he, I'm already a disciple. 
And he's, nobody graduates from being a disciple. You know, it's, mm, yeah. continuous. It, it's a continuous thing. You mm -hmm. continue to learn, to continue to follow, to continue to serve. So, anyway, so that's one, I would say, biblical biblical approach of method. The, the more we we reach up and reach and propagate or preach or herald the gospel, the people who accept it, we should, as much as possible, try to follow them up and then disciple them. Mm -hmm. Just like what Paul said to Timothy, and the things that you have heard from me, Paul, Timothy, this entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others too. Yeah. That's like uh, for, for uh, not generations, see? Paul, Timothy, faithful men will be able to teach others too. Mm -hmm. So that's how we multiply. Yeah. It's more than, it's, it's not actually addition, but it's multiplication. We can, we, can, we can add a lot of people in the church, but they're just, you know, we call it magbubutas lang ng bangko yan. They will just be there to, you know, sit down and uh, they are in the, the uh, Amen ministry. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Yeah, they're just Amen ministry. They yes, don't amen. do anything but Amen. Amen? Amen. amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. yeah. That's, their, that's their ministry. That's their amen God. ministry. Amen ministry. But anyway, so, as I was saying, so uh, when I was, when that. I, <laughs> Pastor John invited me to, to, to sing, uh, during the, the the missions banquet, I I I mean based from my my experience and what I have done so far, I know at least three three important ways we can help. As I've said, it's going, praying, and giving. Mm -hmm. When we talk about missions, we send people and we pray for them mm -hmm. and. We support them. Okay? So, it's either you, you're you not in the sending or you're not the missionary, the, uh, mm -hmm. you know, you know the missionary, but you can pray. Mm -hmm. but, you know, so, everybody must mm -hmm. be part of mission, the Great Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, I, in fact, I I, uh, I sent Pastor, Pastor uh, uh, Susie a quotation. Can, can you remember? I mean, <laughs> See that? 